Chiyan 60. 60 films murcha chai sir. So 60 questions you have to answer please. Of course I promised. I and it's all simple questions so one word answers is okay. perfectly fine. Or I don't you need can... to swear on a bible right? No. You okay. don't have to. Done. Holy moly. Okay. Mm. So what's your favorite time of the day? Fiesta and siesta. So mm. lunch time and after that that's, that's a little nap. nap. You really From a cat it? nap it goes into a whole scale. What's the most uh, exciting thing for you when you're not working? Work out. I like to swim. I like, like to how, ride. How many hours do you work out? It's actually, it's not uh, sensible to work out more than 40, 45 minutes. Okay. When are you most inspired? When I hear a character, mm -hmm. the director says something very interesting and it's a beautiful character and you know, I really want to get my teeth into it. I feel so inspired. What's keeping you busy these days, sir? Oh, these days, vaccinations and masks <laughs> and <laughs> oh, staying at home. Sweet or savory? Everything. Jeez. Everything, anything. Because I was in boarding, so oh. anything and everything. With due respects to all the vegetarians and the, mm -hmm. all the other people. Okay. Your favorite dish? Sushi. But uh, in Chennai, it will be like... That's, really? You like karwade? Oh my god. I like that I and it should karwade. be padaya sadhu. Ah. I mean, it tastes much more yummy than it sounds. So, do you have a go-to recipe, sir? Do you cook? Let you me tell you English. this. If I, if I go to anybody's house, ah. I'll make anybody, any cook proud. They can cook anything, I'll finish it. Considering I'm always dieting for films. <laughs> so, yeah. yeah. What's your best spot in Chennai? Your best? favorite spot? 25 Arundel Beach Road. Favorite spot uh, for filter coffee in Chennai? Filter coffee anywhere in the world is amazing. Mm -hmm. South Indian filter coffee is like top. So nice heavy breakfast. Like Italy, dosa, sambar. I'm not sure you guys will identify with that. But <laughs> after that, you have to finish it off with nice strong nice, South strong Indian filter coffee. coffee. Yeah. Yeah. So what's your favorite book, sir? What are you My reading? My favorite right now is The Blind Assassin by Margaret Atwood. Mm -hmm. uh, it's very interesting. What's your favorite other language uh, series or something like that do you have? I watched this Korean thing. Oh God, what is the name? Some fly. What's that one? Ayayoh. Oh, very nice. Ayayoh. Uh, forget it, it's okay. Okay, it's a Korean yeah. drama. Your favorite Tamil movie of all time? Padinari Vaidhan Away. Hmm? Always. And I mean, I always like to believe that Kamal sir would not be able to do his role the same way again. Because mm -hmm. he did it to perfection. Okay. Work of art. What is something that's moved you recently? Uh... Recently, yeah, like this morning I was going through some fan-made post and there's this mashup and mm. it was lovely. So if you had a superpower, what would it be? I think I'd like to fly. I think there's nothing more liberating than that. Le? Just take That's off. Awesome. What is that one bad habit you're trying to quit in 2022? I don't actually have any bad habits Aww. and I'm not lying. What is that one good habit you're trying to improve or you want to, you know, bring that into routine more or something like that? I think the pandemic has actually changed everybody's vision of the world, how you see it. It's suddenly very different. It What's the best piece of advice someone has given you? Something which stuck to you, stuck with you, or you always... My dad once told me, he said, uh, even if you're a garbage picker, make sure you're the best in the world. I didn't quite understand it then, but then I think it wormed its way into my head and like I've been... I try to, I, I become... I don't know if it's OCD or I'm a perfectionist, but I try to do whatever I can do best. What's the um, most surprising thing about, what surprises you the most about people? I think resilience, a lot of, like let's say Mumbai, hmm. whether it was a floods or whether it was a terrorist attacks or whatever. Likewise in Chennai when we had the cyclone and you remember when you had the floods, mm, floods of. everybody was out in the street. People actually went out risking their lives to help others, which in a normal situation, they wouldn't have done that. Yeah. So, what surprises you the most about Dhruv? See, I could be a doctor and I could have a doctor son or I could have a dad as my son. Hmm. So, when I'm an actor, there's no necessity that he should follow in my shoes. But let's say an actor's son or a star son will always try to, I mean, they will, he'll be forced to becoming an actor. But you'll find a lot of reluctant actors, star sons hmm. or... So, it's very, it's very heartening to see him actually, you know, blossom into something hmm. else and He's evolving as the days go by. I can see the difference every day. Like when, he, when we went dubbing and I had to teach him like from scratch. After the third day, he was saying, hold it. Wait, I know how to do this. And it was like, it, that's so nice when you see someone else doing it. So I can, I can like actually sit back and I'm watching him grow. And it's, it's very nice watching him do that. Not just as an actor, as anything. What, what surprises you most about your daughter? 
It's not fair. I keep asking. Yeah, I, 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 I did. I did see the. Uh, sorry. About, about Akshu, Akshu, yeah, yes. she is. Um, I used to say earlier that when they used to ask me which women who inspired me, mm -hmm. I said my mother, because yeah. she's so she sets her mind on something, she does it. But it was my daughter after that because she's a perfectionist. Everything has to be perfect. A piece of advice you'd like to give through? I mm. gave him was I didn't tell him anything else mm -hmm. about um, acting or whatever. I just told him this very serious because he's becoming an actor and mm -hmm. it's it's a very fickle field. It's like a lottery actually. So I told him. Always remember to, you know, never let failure get to your heart and never let success get to your head. And I, I think I, I've always tried to live by that and I think that's the only advice I gave him. And of course, always give back to your fans what they give you because they love you more than even your parents could sometimes love you. It's like that. Yeah. It's not mm. conditional. How old were you, sir, when you realized you want to become an actor? Three months. Really? Yeah. My, like mom, my mom was three months pregnant. Oh, <laughs> come <laughs> on, sir. I've always wanted to act. Always, so I guess I like from have... childhood. Do you have any memories like, uh, I saw this film and then I wanted to be an actor, or I saw this actor and then I... Do you have any memory like this or like no, I've forever? Always... It was no, like I was... Um, when I went to boarding, huh. it was my third standard and I didn't know anything about acting or whatever. And, and suddenly they had this play mm. and they made me play this little uh, cotton picking uh, mm. Afro-American girl. Mm. So I remember this blue... Uh, gown kind of a thing with something on the head and they put uh, vegetable black on my face and I just stood there not knowing what to do. I didn't sing, I didn't say anything. And I saw the audience and I just fell in love with that sensation. I was like, God, I didn't realize like, okay, I didn't think oh, I'm a girl, mm, nothing. It nothing. was just that I'm acting and you know, I got bitten by the bug then. The next role I did was I was a sentry, I was a guard and no dialogue <laughs> and I stood proudly. When only you had started dialogues there. Then. Dialogues took a long time. By then I was playing in the band and oh. that guy was a villain, my band master. Oh. He came and said, you can't be in this and that, no more acting. Uh. So I didn't act till the ninth or something. But I was always fascinated by that. So when did you start singing? So you, you're talking about the band. So were you like... No, band was like I was playing the, uh, okay. the trombone and the horn and the trumpet and all. So when did you start singing? Singing? <laughs> singing was actually... Uh, I was never a singer, mm -hmm. not that I'm, I'm a professional bathroom singer right now. So <laughs> then uh, I had an accident, I was in bed and, and the doctor said I couldn't walk anymore and that's when um, my brother used to come to sing and he used to sing very well. So every time he comes, everybody say, Arvind, sing, sing, sing and he'll sing and I'll be like, uh, I'll be so jay and I'll sing. And then I was thinking, but why not become a singer? It's okay if I, my leg is not okay, I can sing. So I started practicing and then one day I sang. So I, yeah. <laughs> so no, they said they were surprised. Like, hey, you sing? Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah, just pass me the plate. <laughs> I said, okay. yeah. So who's your favorite singer? Sitriya. Hmm? Yeah. Adnan Sami, but uh, it's Sitriya. I no. love his voice and I love the way I, every song of his is so soulful. Something about it is. Anything, really any language. Good, right? yeah. yeah. And it's so unlike what he is as a person. He's so yo, but when you see the song, yeah. it's all very Karnataka. And when he and talks to you, it's like full American yeah. accent, thick yeah. accent, and then he sings, he's ah, so some Sari Gama Ela it'll be like he's totally amazing. different. He's yeah, amazing. he's so good. It's like two different people. Yeah. So, now that you know the next question. So, what? we're talking about singers, we're talking about songs. Yeah, so you, so you want to dance? No, I wanted <laughs> to sing! <laughs> <clears throat> For your okay. pan in the audience. Let me sing a song that that's been translated in other languages as well. Who it is, who it is, one day and no calendar we did. Who it is, who it is, one day and no calendar we did. Nina, we, Nina, we, in the ninja calendar we did. Nilave, Nilave, in the wind or calendar. Kada Iranda, in the can or calendar. Kalam Tadita, in the man or calendar. Do he re? Do he re? Clap everybody! You fell asleep. 
No. Because I shut my eyes. They must no, have thought no, it's time no. to sleep. No, no, no. We loved it. We loved it. Thank I'm you. I'm sure Rehman sir. You're very kind. See. You're very kind. No, no. Rehman sir is going to see. That's this my. And like, that was like one of my first songs that I learned, and I love that song. I love Hari 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 Hari's ah. rendering in all the languages. They'll be different, and he is um, Hindustani, right? So. And the classic. That's that's. Mm. Your favorite genre of films? Do you have any favorite genre of films? I watch everything. I watch everything. I even watch bad films because <laughs> you learn something from everything. Mm -hmm. But um, I like thrillers a lot. I like to watch a lot of thrillers, and I never watch shows till this thing struck. And now I'm into shows big time. I watch everything, mm -hmm. constantly surfing. Searching. And there are so many. I've just watched one episode, three episodes, five episodes. There's a different so mood. Waiting. And suddenly I, I want to be like I'm just lazy and I want to sleep. I don't want to watch anything. You know, too eclectic or too yeah. harsh or too, too you know in the face. So I'll watch Friends for some yeah. time. That's like it, you can watch it any number of times. So I'll watch that. So, but films, thrillers, I think. So which is your favorite character from Friends? My my character. Your favorite. My film. Friends, friends. For Friends. Yeah. <laughs> I I I. Didn't quite like Rachel in the beginning, but then I started. She's so nice. She acts so well. What is something you don't want to do in ten years from now? I don't want to jump off a plane. I don't want to do parag paragliding. <laughs> Not like that, sir. Like Seriously, with your life. That's my life. Okay. <laughs> okay, fine. But <laughs> think about how you. What I don't want to do. You might end up doing it, so let's not no, say. No, I yeah. will. I will actually. Yeah. I will. I think I, I'll try anything. I'm anything game for so. anything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. What do you love doing after a long day of shoot? How do you like relax yourself? I like to come back and take out my script, mm -hmm. and then just go through my character and what I'm going to shoot tomorrow, the scenes. And think of makeup tips. I know I would like to say that, but uh, <laughs> just go there, pull off my shoes, and just lay back and Relax. sleep off. And go if someone den. comes and drags me and says, "Hello, go bed. <laughs> <laughs> you need to eat dinner and sleep. Enough for the day." Enough. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, a real life catchphrase or a word which you use like. I always keep saying "so sweet." Oh. It's I don't know why. I, I, so you I, don't mean it, sir? No, I feel it. You're so sweet, no, actually. Sweet. Actually, you're very sweet. Thank you. Um, <laughs> you know why? Uh, that juncture, I need to say something. There's a friend of mine. He's one of the most popular comedians we've had here. Vivek. He passed away recently, and he's a very close friend of mine. Yeah. So you don't realize you say or do something, right? I keep doing this all the time. I remember we were shooting in um, where were we? We were in um, uh, Netherlands. We were there, and um, he had to leave, and I didn't see him, and he left. So he left a cake for me. I said, "Oh, that's so sweet." And I open it, and it says, "So sweet." He actually had it <laughs> written on. I said, "Baby, I called him. I know that. That's what you'll say, Macha. What do you say? You'll say so sweet. I mean, that's so and, my. I don't and know. he always mentions about you in different. And I, I miss him, and I mean, everybody misses him, and yeah, I think he he's done so much for cinema, and he's also a good humanitarian. I mean, everything he's done, like planting trees or trying to, you know, do so many things, and. Sweet chap, yeah. I really miss him. And, we miss yeah. you, Vivek sir. Yeah, I love him. So, what's the one thing that people don't know about you? Let's keep it that way, right? Okay, I'll agree. <laughs> <laughs> one thing they don't know about me. Okay, let only If me I tell, know that, sir. No, so a lot of people, can... I'm. They laugh at my face when I tell them I'm an introvert. <laughs> I'm no, actually no, a very shy that. person. Did yeah. you laugh just now? No, 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 no. We I do, agree, do that. Exactly do it. You believe that, right? Yes. Considering. You're that also. Yes, sir. <laughs> because I was just coming for the this bit of the thing, and uh, Bobby was there, and I said, "Who's doing it?" I said, "Didi." Oh, yo, she's like you put a coin in a silver vessel, and you, you know, she's always laughing and she's giggling and she's so alive. I said, "Yeah, that's yeah. so you." I wanted to tell him, but that that's vessel you should see it when it's alone. Only <laughs> <laughs> few people know that. Hello, <laughs> hello. <laughs> so, mm, what's the last thing that made you smile? The last thing that made me smile was that mashup. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. No, 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 no. That's the last thing that made me smile today was, <clears throat> I guess, when I came in here and I saw you dressed up like this, and I was thinking, wow, oh. seeing you after such a long time. Yes, sir. so much of joy it is. So much of joy. Thank you, thank you. I love you. So, who's your spirit animal? Do you have? Do you think you have a spirit animal? Yeah, I guess I have a couple of things: the dolphin and I guess the giraffe. giraffe. Dolphin and a giraffe. I like dolphins. They're so. They're very nice. No, they're very different. Yeah, but then giraffe because. Yeah, why giraffe? I actually I was walking in Trivandrum Zoo. I think I love animals. Mm. You know that. Everything from yeah. cats to dogs to anything. rats to everything. Yeah, everything, yeah. even rats. Yeah, I used to have wiped mice as pets in school. 
So I was feeding the animals and suddenly I, this thing popped out here and I oh. looked and it was a giraffe and its face was here. And it's got, you should see the eyelashes. Wow. They have the most beautiful, they'll be this long. Mm. Beautiful eyes and eyelashes and I just looked at it and I just actually fell in love. And it was so, I had grass and it just took it so gently. And it's such a, it, it's almost eight, eight, eight feet tall, more than that. So gently it stooped down and I just fell in love. And I also think when you think of it as, why is it like that? It's because all the animals reach up for the leaves and mm. this, uh, through the years it evolved into having a longer neck. And I think that sh should be something every man, every person who's struggling or wants to do something in life should think, right? Try, 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 try harder. Try and Any height and you can definitely reach it. And so that inspires me. That I'm Dolphin, of course, they're damn cute, friendly. And they're very I sweet. I love their little... Like, so sweet. Yeah. A message for your fans? Message for my fans is, it's... I... The songs and the teaser... I, I love watching, reading the comments. And when I went to that section, saw a lot of Hindi, please, please, uh, dub it in Hindi, dub it in Hindi, dub it in Hindi. And I was... Like, I was mm -hmm. stunned and even my unit people, my friends, my cast and crew were sending me links saying, hey, what is this? Everybody's asking for a Hindi dub. I'm sure they're going to dub it soon, but I, it felt so nice. But let me tell you that if you watch the subtitle version too, you'll really get the essence of the movie. And it's a nice movie and I'm sure you can even watch it in Tamil with subtitles. I would love you to watch it in Tamil because I'm dubbed for it. Yeah. Uh, I know, don't think that it's Omicron now and it's okay and you can walk out and yeah, everybody gets it. Be safe. We've all done tests here. That's why we're here. So be safe for however long it takes. And uh, thank you for the love and thank you for always being there and pandemic, no pandemic, whatever happens, love of the fans is always there and I love you guys. <laughs> What's the best compliment you've received so all the years? Ah, what a lot of stuff. Uh, Danush had something very interesting to say after I did I. Mm. I met him at this party and uh, he said, uh, I want to ask you one thing. I said, what? I watched your film. If a director comes and tells you, for this role, are you willing to die? Do you do it? I said, I thought. He said, because I think you would. I said, yeah, I would, but uh, maybe I'll ask him to finish the dubbing first or whatever, and he was laughing. <laughs> but, I mean, whatever. I felt that it was a very nice, nice thing to tell me as an actor. And he said it with so much earnestness, and he himself is a very good actor. And Thank you, Danish. I'll, I'll always remember that. So yeah. sweet. That really inspired me. Yeah, definitely, that's nice. Um, okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how excited are you for your son's debut as a playback singer? 1 to 10? Yeah. As a father, I would say 12. 12? Yeah. As a uh, fellow Just singer, actor, slash actor? 12. 12. <laughs> <laughs> what does Prince does? I, uh, <laughs> I think, I mean, he's a good singer. He's a, he writes the songs, he does all that. But I think he'll be a different singer because he he actually performs when he sings, mm -hmm. as in he acts while singing, mm -hmm. and what he renders on screen for the song is also it's mm -hmm. quite nice mm -hmm. to see him in that way, and which is why I, I like it. It's something that I've always wanted to do: be a s singing star or a singing actor. And I'm glad that he's sung. He's also sung so, in this yeah. first film, but the first song he's singing this is amazing, amazing, which he has written. So it's nice. So. 12 please, 12. I'm a dad, okay, 12. I need to. Definitely, definitely yeah. 12 sir. Can I give I love more? It. Yes, 15? He may watch this. Uh, yeah, yeah 15. a million. Million, perfect. Yeah, perfect. Done, perfect. Million, okay? Okay, yeah. before you million. Okay, on a scale of 1 to 10, how nervous are you for Mahan? I'm not nervous, I'm very excited. Oh, yeah. I'm very excited because it's a great film. I'm very excited because after 3 years my film is coming out. And I'm so happy that it's this film that's coming out. Were you ever nervous for any of your films release? Do you remember any? that one particular film I was like too nervous on the Madhuri, you have anything? No, there's this nervous excitement for every film. There's uh -huh. no film that we do thinking, hey, this won't do well, yeah, let's just do it. it nobody does that. Yeah. So you always are excited, but there's this nervous, like, you, you can never get rid of that. But the first film, should have been nervous, but it took a whole year to get released and it wasn't going to release and everybody saw it and said, it's fantastic, but it won't run. You'll get an award, but it won't run. Director uh -huh. and you'll get an award, won't run. They'll cry and say, beautiful film, but it won't run. Uh -huh. And then, that was the only one. I was nervous that it may not release. That was the only thing I did. And Mahan, no. No. I'm quite confident, yeah. Okay. What kind of a parent are you? Describe in one word. Uh, I'm like a friend. A overbearing, interfering friend. <laughs> overbearing, <laughs> So true. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm supposed to be nice to sir. Sir, but that's true, sir. 
Am I overbearing? Um, with Dhruv? No, no, not with Dhruv. See, like, if a, I was, see, I wouldn't so be now saying you, it. Now you've changed a lot, sir. Oh, seriously? Yeah, when you were like, yeah, when yeah, you of was course. Younger. I say, stop yeah. breaking the TV. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, did you have coffee? Dhruv, please, I said, not the TV. <laughs> no, no, you can't wring the dog's neck. <laughs> not like that, sir. Now, I think you've also evolved as a dad. You've become a more no, cooler no, no. dad. No, no, no. no? I've... I've yeah, I'm a bit of a control freak, but I've always given right. him his freedom. Yeah, yeah, that and all is there. Not if I had been that kind of a dad, I'd have made him a doctor. No. <laughs> said, no, you don't want to study? Okay, you want to go to acting school? Go. go. No college? Yeah, you want to do college? Go. go. What do you want? Okay, you don't want to act? Now, he suddenly came and said, I think I'll become a singer. I said, seriously, after doing one film, yeah, pa. I said, do it. Is that overbearing? No, sir, no, sir, I'm He's sorry. He's overbearing. Yeah. Let's, let's just yeah. move on to the next one. Um, tell us something about Karthik Subraj. Let's leave the family yeah, now. Yeah, safe, safe ground. Mm. <clears throat> Very talented. <clears throat> um, I like his mix of um, raw with commercial. There's there's something which, there's always a little, a little josh you have, but at the same time it won't be, like every scene is so serious, but mm. in that scene, he'll have elements that make you sit up or make you clap or make you laugh, which I really love. You know? So, how would you define your passion for acting in 10 seconds? I'm a people watcher. From very mm -hmm. young, I used to watch people. I used to see a lot of people. Oh. And I, I keep watching them all the time. And why are they like, who could this guy, will this guy be an electrician? Or will he be a painter? Will he be a mathematician? It's like that. And is that why he's behaving? Like? Then I started thinking, why not do that? Why not do things like that? That inspired me slowly and started. I started looking different, wanting to look like them, wanting to be like them. And that made me an actor. And your 10 seconds up. Yes. Fantastic 10 second answer. Yeah. Full 10 marks for that, sir. Great. 12. Okay. <laughs> what, made you with Dhruv, yeah. <laughs> what made you sign Mahan? The, the fact that, I mean, it's a Karthik Subraj's film, definitely had a big role to play in it. But the fact that it was a father son movie and that was something that was not in the picture at all for the next 10 years, and I knew it's obviously not going to be a picture we'll be doing. And I listened to the story and I sat up and thought, wow. I want to do this. Yes. And I, I was so happy that I could do it now and still not feel that I've not given, done justice to Dhruv or that he has in any way, you know, shaken my position mm -hmm. in the film. Yeah. It's, it's a nice balance. That made me want to do it. And the, the story is very engaging. So, what's that one word that would perfectly define your character in this film? Give me one word. Mahan. No, no. Yeah, actually it becomes like a Mahan. One word. Change. 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 You just, through the film you realise this guy is just changing. changing. I mean, he's, there's something lovely, about, lovely answer. Change, yeah. yeah. What's one word perfectly describing Dhruv's character as a co-actor? Volatile. Volatile. Very volatile. Tell us um, three words. What your fans should expect from the movie, Mahan? Give me in three words. Super Padamachi. Samma answered Machi. <laughs> so, sure they would have understood it, right? Yeah. Super, Padam is movie. Yeah. Machi is like, what's it in Hindi? Bro, like bro. bro. Yeah, like yeah. bro. Yeah. yeah. One word to describe your 60 movie journey. Mercurial. One word to describe your upcoming 60 movies journey. Hopeful. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any special ritual to get into your work mode, sir? Do you have any? I just uh, live in the script for about a month or two till the shoot. I don't so think that's of your anything. Special ritual. Yeah, I don't think anything. I just it's there. Just all keep them in my mind, and I keep doing my things, and one day it happens. What's your guilty pleasure? Oh God, I have a sweet tooth. I could finish boxes and boxes and boxes and boxes. This Diwali, you won't believe. I got fifty assorted boxes, and they were getting they're getting bigger this year, and. I had all of them. I'll just come. I was on a diet. I was on a diet all through the day. I'll take the boxes and they come. I say thank you and I keep it in my room. I'll keep it in my cupboard. And I finished all 50. And I put on a lot of weight. Where does it go? Sir? It went off after that. I, I was 86. On two months, I brought it down. I brought down nine kgs. I just, God, I can't. I love. You sweets. can't do without sweets. No. Wow. That's why I say how sweet. So sweet. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. You never Definitely. know. Definitely. What's the secret to your fitness? One word, no, for mm. that. Yeah, discipline would be. No, I would think role playing, I think, more. If you can call it one word. Like, a secret, it's me, a secret, not it is one for, word. What's your secret? The secret for my. for fit. being fit. Yeah. Do you have any special secret? No, no, that's what. No, that's what I'm trying to say. I don't do anything for 
it's not like fitness and i want to it's like okay. when i have a role and i try to become that okay role. So, so for the role yeah. how do you deal with failure and success the advice i gave my son never let success go to your head and failure to your heart never every film is important yeah. you put your heart and soul into it but you're not god <laughs> so some work or most don't work or some work and some a lot work but i think just keep trying you know yeah What's the one thing that every co-star should know about you? So, Pan India, they're watching. So, yeah. he's a very nice guy. Give him all your dialogues. <laughs> Don't feel competitive. Just give him your dialogues also. Prove I feel you. <laughs> <laughs> What is your most prized possession? My family. Lovely. Top three things on your bucket list you want to do. I want to do a trek in the Antarctic. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> uh, I want to wake up one morning in an igloo tent and look out, and suddenly it is that someone switched on the northern lights. That'd okay. be nice because I've been there, but I've never gotten You've to never see it. The seasons yeah. always change. And maybe have hot filter coffee in the Everest. Okay. It'll be frozen, of course. Yeah. I had a leak here, but <laughs> but still, it's yeah. filter coffee. Yep. What's your hidden talent, sir? that would be telling yes fear of disclosure I'll keep going maybe let me think it in talent i can't cook i eat well so yes sir we've completed 60 questions for wow. 60 chian 60 60 you know you look tired do i no sir no the answers le i think i have to comprehend your answers have become tired seriously yeah. okay So all of you all Chian Vikram fans get ready and India get ready yeah. to watch Mahan Amazon Prime video see you all there